Oh, 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 oh. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It's live from Nashville, Tennessee. It is quarantine with Kenny. It is football season. I don't know if you guys noticed. I gotta get this off of me. I feel I feel really weird. I feel like like overdressed or something. Hold on, hold on. Waiting for it. Waiting for it. Waiting for it. And we're there. So uh, we got a new. I don't know if you see. We have we have embraced autumn over here. Okay. We've got the brown blankie. We've got we've got the nice native designs here. We are getting an uplift because we are embracing fall as well as we possibly can. It's football season, baby. And I, not that football that you guys are used to. It's American football. And honestly, I don't think any of us thought that we were going to have this season. And tonight, maybe, just maybe tonight, uh, my boys, Kansas City Chiefs, Super Bowl defending. I, I don't know why I bring that up. Maybe we'll talk more about it later. I'm not really sure. But I just, I'm, I'm excited, okay? It's going to be on TV. It's going to feel very, very normal. And, um, I know you think, Kenny, like, what do you, yes, autumn is coming. Thank you, Kelsey. I feel the exact same way. See, I know you think Nashville, I should be a Titans fan, but guys, like, I, I was born and raised up in Missouri. I'm a Missouri boy. You know that. Now, I, I came from southern Missouri, but we were in Kansas City Kingdom. So Chiefs King just kind of like came over. Doesn't matter. Ladies and gentlemen, you are here on Quarantine with Kenny. I am your host from coast to coast to coast to coast, Mr. Kenny Big Red. Foster. And I'm so excited for you guys to be here today. I'm glad to be back. I took a road trip uh, since last time I saw y'all. I went out and just hung out in the outdoors. I went back to my roots and saw some things. And I'm just so excited about all of the video that we captured and the pictures that we captured. And you're just going to have to wait your little pretty panties about it because they're, it's coming for you, but it's coming later. Okay? Just wait. Just think in your mind that this is going to be a great and wonderful thing. But right now, we've got a show and I cannot wait. If you all don't know who these people are, then Get on the train, okay? See, see, this is a duo, all right? This duo, they grew up only three miles apart from each other in Northern California, but they didn't meet until they got to Nashville. And that must have been good because now they are a married duo, okay? This is freaking amazing. This is Shannon and this is Ryan. And uh, there might be another member of the band on the way. I don't know, but I bet you we're going to talk about it. They were on Rolling Stone's top 10 songs that you need to hear right now in 2019. They were in Huffington Post, ones that you need to watch. They had a single called Hail Mary. A lot has happened around this song. I don't know if you've heard it yet. If not, go ahead and check it out. It was on a Netflix film called Walk, Ride, Rodeo. And it was also, um, they sang it, um, interestingly enough, at Levi's Stadium with a partnership with the San Francisco 49ers. So football fans in the house today, okay? Um, they played at Levi's. That seemed pretty, pretty cool. And um, Hail Mary on CMT, it, 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 was, it was number one. It was number one. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. I can believe it because they're amazing. They've had 30 million. That's three zero million spins on Spotify and climbing. Uh, they've had more than two ATV and, uh, and on one of their imprints. And I'm so excited for you guys to hear them. And I can't wait to hear them and chat with them a little bit more. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, please, will you see with Kenny? Welcome to Haley and Michael's. Gentlemen, lady. Hi. I knew we did this. We did not plan this, folks. I'm just telling you. So good. How are you guys? So good. So happy to be here. Thanks for having us. What an that was. Man. Oh, that was amazing. I mean, that's, that's awesome. Dude, I'm telling you, I wish, actually, if I, if I can put it back on again. No, I, I'm not going to worry about it right now. I had one where you could actually push it, and it turned you into a 49ers helmet, too. Maybe we can pull that out later. I, we yes. may have already explored. I mean, the, anything <laughs> Niners today is what we're up to. So, <laughs> Well, you guys play on Sunday, right? We play on Sunday, yes. We're Sunday. Yeah. We're Sunday. I'm doing my DraftKings, though, and I'm selecting all my people. And, yeah. and we're, <laughs> we're even taking some Chiefs. Oh, yeah. Well, oh, hey. You know, That's fun. You can't hold a grudge when for the team because yeah. it's just so rough having those Chiefs players for fantasy. For, for you the know? greater good, yeah. <laughs> it was it was a great for the greater good. That's why I can't do fantasy anymore. There was one year that I let my bias get in. Yeah. I had the chance to get Tom Brady or Drew Brees, and it was the year that they went fifteen and zero for fifteen and one. And I was like, I hate Tom Brady. No, and I got Brees, and he never mind. Never mind. I get it. I understand where you're coming from. Hugs and kisses, and no one has any idea what we're talking about. It's <laughs> lovely to see you guys. Um, hey, uh, tell me, tell me what's been going on with y'all in this crazy, crazy time. You know, it has been 
Absolutely. Crazy time. 2020 has been for everyone. Um, for us, it's been extra crazy because we are expecting our first baby. And so... I know! Congratulations! Um, sh shocking. She's already a Niners fan. Let's, let's just... Show. Yeah. Can we see the bump? Let's oh see the bump. Really fit. As Whoa! Well. <laughs> but, um, we are I'm, I'm 19 days away from the due date, so that's pretty crazy. Uh, unbelievable. That's Are you so ready to not be pregnant? I'm, yeah, I'm getting there. Like, <laughs> like I know Maren Morris played like the Houston Rodeo when she was nine months pregnant, but Shannon, I'm right here. Is here right so, now. This is I'm listen. Your sounds of Nashville. <laughs> I mean, that's that's what this is all about. We're keeping it real because you know, art first, baby second. I've always said it. Uh, <laughs> So, guys, tell me a little bit about, like, what you've been doing during this time. I know you just went on a virtual tour. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, so we, you know, we were in the UK um, when the pandemic really, I guess, spiked is what you would call it. And um, we Preach. found a better place to see. Obviously, we all know in uh, Berlin there's another C to see, which we're um, excited to be over there as soon as possible for that. Mm -hmm. um, but we were over there. So we were, we were overseas when the pandemic hit. It was just... It was just the kind of the weirdest thing, but we were really excited about, um, you know, taking our music overseas. Um, and that this was the, like the year to do it. So we ended up coming back. And like many people, we, we've spent a lot of time here, especially because of the pregnancy. We've been at home quite a bit. Sure. And, but we wanted to continue to get out and connect with, with people first and foremost and with other artists in, um, in other countries. So we did uh, our single is called Drinking About You, um, which we'll talk more about later came up with the Drinking About UK virtual tour. Actually, our manager, John, who's watching right now, gets the credit for that. He came up with that all, all yes. by himself. It sounds like John. That yes. sounds like John, up and down. Up with that. And so, um, but it was really cool. I mean, we, we, we did, uh, you know, we reached out to some of our friends that were over there in the UK that we met and said, hey, we didn't get to do C2C, but we'd love to do this. And so it was, it was a virtual tour of the UK. And now we're here with you doing a virtual tour tour of uh, Berlin, this, 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 this is amazing, <laughs> Germany. Which is great, and we're doing it all from Nashville. I think we're just like a couple miles from each other right now, if we're being honest. Yes. Yeah, so, that, that's cool. So tell me, has there been any like rituals that you guys have developed over this time? I mean, obviously pregnancy is gonna throw that all off a little bit, but like, I, are you binge watching something? Is there like a guilty pleasure that you've done during this time? We turned into, um, kind of like creepers in our neighborhood. We drive just to get like out of the house and change. And I think that we're gonna show up on the, you know, the Facebook page, like concern list of people to watch. <laughs> Even the patrol guy has been kind of like starting to wave at us, but I'm not sure that it's friendly. It's a little confused. Yeah. Like, <laughs> driving around and walking around all the time. <laughs> to, to add on to like, to really fully explain the, the layers of this, driving around a lot, and a woman who lives in the neighborhood pulled up next to us and took a picture of us. <laughs> to probably, we're, we were thinking we were gonna end up on the like, yeah, I don't yeah, know. I'm the, a little worried. The I neighborhood know. watch list, I know, you, you guys. I drink way um, too much coffee. Up, so we have to get out. Yeah. And then in terms of binge watching, we have this really weird thing happening right now where we're, we're separately, binging different shows from each other. Okay, okay. As I'm awake all night and I guess he's awake at different hours. Like we're sure. like our way for seasons of two different shows, but I'm watching Netflix's show Away. Um, mm -hmm. Hilary Swank, the, she's an astronaut and it's so addictive. And then Ryan cool. is- I'm, I'm full on into Cobra Kai right now. Yeah, and, dude. You're like, flashing back to those days, hearkening. Yeah. Go into Cobra Kai for anyone that has that's watching that hasn't seen the original Karate Kids. It's you know it's like the best thing ever next to Star Wars, of course, um, or Harry Potter. Um, but uh, so you know, but it gets really weird because I get you know like it's just like when I was a kid. I'm watching you know Ralph Macchio, and then mm -hmm. I'm, I'm like looking up places in the neighborhood to take lessons, like virtual yeah. karate lessons. And so Shannon wakes up, and I'm like, yes, and say, you know like, yeah, paint the fence, paint the fence. Okay. Wax on. Wax on. It's beautiful, man. I love it. That's so great. So, okay. We have some questions from the fans that they sent in before we got rolling here. Let me, can I hit you with a couple of them? Are you guys ready for this? Okay. Um, so they love the song in Walk Ride Radio. How did that opportunity come about is the question. How did it come about that you were in this? That was fun. 
Yeah, so, um, you know, we, we wrote the song um, about overcoming adversity, um, about in our lives and shockingly in the music business, um, which as we all know, <laughs> is always the, the easiest thing. But, you know, we, we found the songs that we connect with are, are, are ones that people write about their own life experiences and that are small and specific. So this was from a period of time on our journey um, when, you know, things weren't, weren't going the way we wanted them to be, but we wanted to write something uplifting out of that. And that's where that song came from. And um, we got a call uh, really out of nowhere saying that a supervisor at Netflix had, had heard the song. Um, and next thing you know, it's in Walk, Ride, Rodeo, which was an incredible movie, a true story about Amberly Snyder. It was an um, incredible inspiration. Um, and that, that song kind of took on a life of its own. And it was our first song to chart on Billboard last year um, independently and ended up halftime in Monday Night Football with the 49ers. And um, so it was, it was just a really special thing, especially because um, it was a, a personal song to us. And we, we got some messages from people who I think resonated with it and were able to apply it to whatever they were going through. And um, so, yeah, it's, it was really gratifying. Great, man. What a cool, what a cool rocket to ride. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Um, so, so actually, in light of that, this actually is a great segue. You didn't know. Um, but so what would you say has been the most challenging moment of your guys' career? Mm. Good question. That's, that's a really great question. There, like, there been so <laughs> well, it's the music <laughs> business. Um, I would say uh, there was, I, I would say, um, a few years ago before our our deal came through um we were kind of in limbo we just we didn't have new music that was recorded um we you know didn't necessarily have that methodical plan that we could have a vision for which i think um has always been so important to us just to be able to see what the next step is and keep motivating I think we were just really lost at that period of time and, and um, you know, the waiting game of all the contracts and everything and wondering, is it going to happen? And, um, you know, we, we had a deal with, with Sony in New York and it took 18 months. And so we, we were really in the, the most literal sense of limbo because we weren't releasing new music because we were waiting for this right. thing and that's never served us well, the waiting thing. So, um, so yeah, it was, and, and that was the period of time that we wrote Hail Mary. So back to the... Yes. Right. The last question, um, and then the song ends up in a Netflix film, and things start moving again. So, you know, we just found that showing up every day, you know, you, you, especially in a business or in life when there isn't structure, if you just show up and ask yourself, what is the right next step? Things sure. to the universe has a way of sustaining you. Um, that's been our experience. That's a great word. I love that. Thank you, guys. Um, another good question here. Uh, what would you guys say are your main influences now? As an artist myself, I know that that's constantly fluxing, you know, from one project to the next, which ones you amplify. Like if you had an, if you had an equalizer and you were pushing up influences up and down, who are the top two or three right now that are really speaking to you? It's funny that you asked, I'll let her go first, but the equalizer visual, that happened last night. And both of our influences were representing in the, and then the, and then, and then you know. Yeah, we're working on that. We're song and and it's so true and that that's kind of been how we've created our duo sound is that we come from slightly different backgrounds and so it's about blend and finding it you know cheryl crow is a huge influence of mine um and you know coldplay is a kind of common influence for us um and of course we both grew up loving country music 90s country um you know yeah. in california um at a time that most people didn't love Cal music in california though now it's you know now it's the genre, which is awesome. It's cool, man. It's cool. Yeah, Shannon, if you want, if you want something, if you want just a laugh later, go and look up. Um, Cheryl Crow had a Super Bowl commercial uh, for Revlon. Okay, Cheryl Crow Revlon. Just huh. look that look that up, and you can you can text me later about it. Okay, I will. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm not ruin it for you. It's a great time. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Right, go ahead, man. And I, w I would say, for my part of it, you know, I, 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 I grew up on, you know, classic rock, rock and roll, songwriters, um, and, and then tr some traditional country. And so it's all in there. I think um, country music now, I think, is the format that most embraces electric guitars and rock and roll. And so that's how I kind of went from being in a rock band to being in a duo with my wife and still 
feeling like, I mean, our, our full band is, is, you know, seven pieces. We have two electric guitars and that, that's the way that I like to make music. And at the same time, I also love just sitting here with our acoustic guitars and doing this kind of thing with you. So it's, uh, it's kind of all of it, you know, everything in between. See, I, I, I grew up on 90s alternative rock myself, um, my dad, classic rock, that sort of thing. But what I did grow up, and honestly, I'm, I'm not going to lie, uh, Darius had a lot to do with it. Because when Darius came out with the solo project, he was like, where would Hootie come out now? Like, where would Hootie live? And yeah. so the fact that Hootie would now probably classify as country, it, it's, it seems like the genre that really is continuing to value the song. Mm. Uh, I think country music has always been about the song. And, and if you w care about lyric, if you care about story, if you care about pushing it forward, you're either in Broadway or you're in country music. Like that's basically, those are the two things. It's not about bops. It's not about um, drops. It's, it's about words and, and story and meaning. And, and uh, that's, that's how we find ourselves here. Yeah. Um, strange so, that's strange. That's exactly both ended up in Nashville. That's and, um, a great I way love, to say I it. I love the way yeah. you said it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool, man. I love that. Um, so, so, so here's, here's a one, here's a good segue too. The question is, well, it's first it says, congrats on the pregnancy. Um, can, can we expect lullabies in uh, the future? Uh. So, yes, last night we were, the song we were referring to is that we wrote, we wrote a song for the little one. And um, it was kind of funny because there's a lullaby kind of feel to it. It's like a 6-8 song that so has that kind of rock. Right. The rock, but then Ryan put another kind of rock in there where there's like, like 16 like, electric guitars. He's like turning up all the electric guitars. I'm like, this is a baby song, remember? I'm like, this is a I'm like, okay, I can get behind this. It's like, but I, I was, that's, that's exactly, I was talking to a friend uh, yesterday and he's like, so is it really, you know, slow? And I'm like, well, it's like, you know, like kind of like an arena rock track, but it's about <laughs> baby, you know? And, and I said, because like, I'm the dad, so. Sure, 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 sure. So, so there is literally yeah, there are going to be songs to rock the baby to sleep, and the, <laughs> there will be a verse that I think uh, production-wise was heavily influenced by Falling Slowly from the movie Once. So, if we want the super kind of intimate version, uh, that that will be available as, as well. well. <laughs> um, yeah, so, man, I, I love that musical so much. I, uh, I was, I was on tour. We were in Dublin, and. Walking down the street, I don't even remember. What, oh, we were going to my favorite restaurant um, in Dublin called Crackbird. And because they serve chicken, that might as well be laced with crack. It's so good. Um, but they, we went and they had moved locations. And we're like, oh, no, what are we going to do? So we start walking back and we walk past the theater in Dublin right there on the main strip outside Temple Bar. And they had once playing in Dublin, right there. It was their last showing of the run. Oh. And they had like gallery tickets. And so for 20 euro, we, we snuck in the back and like watched once. That was the first time I'd even seen the show. Oh, oh, was, what an experience. What a way to see. Was, I mean, just authenticity. Like, yes. That's awesome. Just stumbled into it, man. I love that. So now that thing always kind of speaks to me a little bit. Um, and by a little bit, I mean a lot. I try not to cry. Let me tell you one more thing about that, just while we're on the subject. Here's the thing that I loved. I was so moved by it. I was so moved. I'd never seen it, never heard the music. We just, I just knew someone told me that I, I should, and I did. And at the end, my wife and I are sitting there, and I'm bawling like a baby. I'm just, like, so moved by the thing that they had created and the way the actors really sold out to it. You know, like, they'd obviously fine-tuned it, and there was this – and we know what the creative arts is like. Some days you're up here and some days you're this. And so like when, when they're on their last show, it had to mean a whole lot, right? It was the culmination of all these things and they're bringing everything they could to the show. It was really special. And, um, but the, the ushers are lining the gallery way up in the back. We're on third level or something. And they're all standing there waiting and not one of them comes over and asks me to leave. Like, not one of them is like, hey, we're trying to clear the house. Like, it's time for you to go. Like, they all stood there, like, silently staring forward. I, probably 12 of them. And we're just sitting there, like, just, and it was like, there was this respect. Like, they knew what I'd just seen, and they were proud of it. And I just, like, I love those feels. Oh, so, yes, it, it was a beautiful moment. They, like, let go of the rules or their roles, or, and it was just, like, a moment of humanity together. Yes. 
I love let, that. Let <laughs> art do its thing. It doesn't fit into confines like this. Like we just, it has to breathe. So anyway, thanks for letting me share that. I love it. So every single week on the show, we try to highlight, um, we try to highlight a charity of some sort. And you guys picked COVID Music Relief by Spotify, which is fantastic. Let me tell everybody a little bit about that. So they launched to strengthen the efforts uh, of other organizations that are already doing things during COVID at this time. Um, they will actually match slash double all donations that are given through Spotify up to 10 million. So it's insane. They've almost reached that, I'm sure, at this point. Uh, but a few organizations, depending on where you are, what, where in the world, um, there's a few, there's one in Canada called Unison Benevolence Fund. There's one in the UK called Help Musicians, um, Initiative Music in Germany. And in Australia also has support art. And in the US, we've got plenty, Music Cares, Preservation Halls Foundation, and the Music Health Alliance. So if anybody needs help, uh, please, there is a link in the bio. And if you would just like to donate, Spotify is going to double whatever you donate. So please check that out if you guys feel so moved to do that. Um, I don't know if I've fully prepared you two for this, but it's time for the show that we like to call Wheel of <laughs> Filters. So now you got to go, you click the little, the little sparkly face thing, and I need you all to find a filter just – Shannon's Spin right through it. Find something that tickles your fancy, matches your mood, and we're going to try something out here. I don't know how it's going to go. None of us ever do. Let me see what I got. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Yours is really great. Why is ours? Hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> There's no judgment here. There's no judgment here. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Look at your look at those eyes. All right, now you got to swap. Now you got to swap. Let me see Ryan. Be back. <laughs> <laughs> oh my okay. god! <laughs> so what do we call this? What are you guys right now? What's it called? Do you know? Um, this is called silly face. Okay, what? silly face. That's fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know how to take you seriously. Uh, yes, please. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm getting a vision here. See, my my name's my name's Tom. <laughs> Tom Ayo, and uh, I just want to tell you something right now. Um, I need to have a conversation with y'all. I need to have a conversation because I can tell that you're not from around here. So why don't you tell me where you're from? Give me a little origin story. Well, yeah, we uh we came from California, IA, and mm -hmm. we represented by our uh forty the Niners jerseys. Absolutely, and, uh, I've heard of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you know, uh, my my wife here and I we got hitched and we we done started a band. Uh, oh, oh my goodness! You're in a band. You be playing the music then. Yeah, and the and the truth is, it's the country music, and uh, we're called Haley and Michaels. Um, oh yeah. But that's because she's from California, IA, and she wouldn't change her darn last name. Oh, and, I know. I tell you what, them ladies these days, I understand. Look, just kick tradition right out the door. I understand. Yeah, yeah I that's, understand. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what do you got to say for yourself, Missy? I just bat my eyes and look. <laughs> <laughs> uh, speak, speaking of which, um, if I could, if you, if you wouldn't mind, no, I can't do it. I was going to, there's going to be a joke about making a sandwich, but I can't be that chauvinist. I just can't do it. <laughs> but, but, but I was going to ask for it without tomatoes. If you know. <laughs> okay. Anyway, thank you. Thank you guys for being ridiculous with me for a second. So, okay. Let's give the people what they came to see. Let's be honest. Should we, sing some, should we sing some songs? Yeah, it doesn't get any better than that. Well, that's fair. That's fair. Now they're going to be disappointed by the music. I kid. Um, I'm going to sing a song. How about that? And then you guys sing a song. You want to do that? I think we would love to sing a song almost as much as everyone else would love to hear you sing a song based on all the message. Okay, okay. okay I'll, I'll kick us off. I'll kick us off. So this song uh, that, that I'm playing today, I, I've never played. 
So uh, I, I'm, I'm whittling down all the songs for my record, and this is on the short list of tunes. And uh, But I've never really like put the time and effort into singing it and making the things happen. So uh, everybody be kind, but, uh, but I'm going to try this out. Um, I, I just went back this weekend to my hometown. Um, uh, we shot video and took pictures of all these places that were significant to me uh, growing up, the guy that made me and sort of, not trying to relive the glory days by any stretch, but maybe just like reconnect. Um, and I don't think there's any substitution with actually being in that place. Uh, so I, I took my guys and we got in a 15 passenger van and we just, whatever we saw, we took pictures of, and it was really fun. It was a really great trip, but it kind of got me in all the feels and I've been feeling all the feels since then. So, um, here's, here's a feels feels song. Uh, it's called, it's called good for growing up. But. We grew up and like kids to move down. After 30 years, we left our folks with too much help. And what I thought was always my sits behind that for sale sign. And I hear the new me's moving in right now. You know I might not get the chance to meet them. I won't be coming back to say hello. So before I said goodbye, made a list to leave behind. Cause there's a million little things that he should know. Like that maple's good for climbing, and that basement's good for hiding, and that monster in the closet, it's just the pipes. Don't flush when someone shouts. Try the honeysuckle flowers and miss Judy's dog bark, but he won't bite. Those were the best years of my life. Kid. I hope you love them just like I did. It ain't it's good for growing up. There's a motion sensor spotlight on the driveway. And the creak in those old stairs is way too loud. So pick the bedroom down the hall. And be real quiet when she calls. Cause that window's always good for sneaking out. And that porch is good for sitting. High creek for skinny dipping. You can fish all day. You won't catch a thing. And that guitar was good for play. My guitars and friends all say You should be our rolling stone Cause you can sing It was one of the best years of my life I hope you love them just like I did it ain't But it's good for growing up Good for being young Just know the day will come You're gonna pass it on See that maple's good for climbing, and that basement's good for hiding, and that monster in the closet's just the pipes. And love was made for trying, and time has a way to find. No, there ain't no slowing down, don't ask me why. Those were the best years of my life. I hope you love them just like I did today. It's good for growing up. It's good for growing up. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not expecting to get emotional today. So I'm sorry. That's, well, you came on my show. It happens. That song is just absolutely so moving so incredible and talk about just what you were talking about about country music and songs and this being the only you know chance for people to really get a song like that is here and the visuals yeah. and the images i mean i was like right there you know and it's it's, it's just the, incredible the, i was the i was thinking um while you were playing it that for those people watching and i'm not honestly bro i'm not just saying this if people want to hear what a song of the year sounds yes. like 
that's that's one of those songs um and it's it's that thing we were talking about that when it's when it's personal to you and it's so small and specific but i mean i just had a whole music it comes so universal video. for everybody because everybody has a place like that you know sure. and has yeah. memory like that and mm -hmm. Now I'm, I'm cold from the chills. I know. Oh, thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Wow. So you're recording that, uh, or, well, you're considering recording it? Yeah, well, I mean, with, with you guys talking like that, it's hard to, <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to say no at it now, right? Don't cut that one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> No, it's, uh, so yeah, I'm considering it. We're we're in the studio. We start pre-production in a week and a half. So um, we'll start going through that. I just want to know when I can have a copy Me of it. Me too. I it's, mean, that was so moving. It was absurd. Great, absolutely loved it. Well, thank you. I'll pay. Well, take us somewhere, please. Oh, you too. I, I need a minute. <laughs> I, whew, that was seriously. That was awesome. Um, thank you. That was awesome. Really, I appreciate it. I I, I um. I like the oldies, man. I don't know, like, you know, sending a, you know, trying to say all the things, just pin them, pin them all down, like, like, uh, like butterflies in a... Well, it did, it does that, and you, by, the, by the end of the song, you've just gone on this incredible, like, true, like a journey, you know, and, and then it wraps yeah. all the way back around, you're just like... <laughs> and then you have a lump in your, <laughs> then you have a lump in your throat and someone asks you to sing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, I can I can leave. I can step out. <laughs> Look at your face. Oh no. <laughs> man, no, that was that was really incredible. And um, it's again just one of the reasons that we are proud to be in Nashville and yes. um, hearing songs like that, which doesn't happen often. Hence the song of the year. It's just a very special song. And um, thank you for sharing that with us. Yes, thank you. Of course, that. man. Thank you. Please. Yeah, so we're we're so gonna. Totally different direction. We're gonna go for the the happy hour vibe since it's a lot later. And <laughs> anyone tuning in over, you know, overseas, um, and we're excited because we've got, you know, um, our single coming out to country radio, um, and it was supposed to be, you know, in April. And of course, like any anyone in the world had an April, uh, they've been moved to a later, you know, to be determined date. Yeah, TBD. And we got invited to like featured artists at the ACM Award Radio Remotes, and we were going to launch the single and all that. And you know, it's it's um it's so interesting though, right? When you just uh, learn to be present. Um, and I know that we have a lot of people watching in um in Germany right now, and you know we're huge fans of Eckhart Tolle, and yeah. um and so that that's actually been something we've we've done a lot of during the pandemic. Um, but so all that to say, um. It, the song wasn't released in April, and so it is coming out, and the, the release date is TBD, um, but, uh, but we're really excited about it. We spent the better part of the last 18 months before the pandemic on a radio tour, visiting about 120 radio stations all over the country. Um, so, um, so yeah, we're, we're excited to share this with everyone, and uh, you know, I guess that's really all we can say about it. Um, I, I will add this, too. When we wrote it early on um, together, and it's hard because the sound of the record is a big part of it kind of defined our sound but also the vocal arrangement where um we're both the lead singers um it's you know evenly balanced duo and having conversations and songs so we interrupt each other a lot which is totally common when In you're married life. yeah like <laughs> so that's that's just how we kind of built our sound but so we're excited to uh to launch this song in the next few months i think it's uh it's called cool, Oh, yeah. 
I need my tambourine. I didn't bring it. Great job, guys. Haley and Michaels, ladies and gentlemen. Ow! Thank you, thank so where, where did that one come from, y'all? What was, what was the inspiration there? You know, we, um, we love breakup songs. We love sad songs. And when we got married, we wrote a wedding song that ended up kind of being, I guess, our, our biggest song. So hard. But we made a promise to each other. We're like, just because we got married, we are... <laughs> Not going to stop writing our favorite kind of songs to write, which are stick to your guns. I love it. Yes. <laughs> yeah, because we, you really want you want to be able to relate to, to everybody. And, and that means all perspectives in relationships and, and everything. And obviously, we've both been through a lot of things before we got together. So so yeah, so that song came from that early time where we just said, hey, let's let's write a breakup song. And um, so yeah, we're, we're excited to have it on the album and have it, you know, finally get it out. That's great, man. I uh. I think I've always said that, um, uh, like, love songs feel good, uh, but breakup songs teach you something. So it's this sort of, like, you know, not everybody wants to go there, but when you're in that space and you're, like, open to hearing something else, like, it's really cool to, like, yeah, it's really cool to let people know that they're not alone in these otherwise isolating incidences in your life. You know? For, um, I think the point, like, that type of music can, when, when you're going through something like that and you hear a song, it really feeling because it makes you as you just said realize i'm not the only person that's ever been through this i'm not the only person going through this you know that person knows exactly how i feel but you yep. know our and if you haven't heard the record um it's like earl thomas Connolly meets guns and roses use your illusion too <laughs> just <laughs> <laughs> guys thank you so much for being on the show today um i wish you all the best in 18 days Oh, yes. I mean, thank you very much. Uh, yes. <laughs> I'm and giving unless, you all of the good thinking. Unless yeah. we're watching the Niners game on Sunday and she gets really stressed out. I'm a little it's like a, a good one, you know? Early in deuce. Early in deuce. Um, but no, Kenny, dude, thank you so much. Thank I just, so much. I just want to say, like, it's, it's really cool. You know, we're all wanting to stay connected. And it's very cool. Um, thanks to Sounds of Nashville and Cena and everyone at <laughs> some old concerts um and especially to you man it's very cool of you to do this kind of thing and give other artists a platform and so thanks for including us and i really hope that any of our fans that are on if they don't already follow kenny foster who is one of our favorite people and artists um, oh, follow 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 everywhere and See wait for him. that new song because it's going to be a smash yeah thanks man yeah kenny foster music if you're in the mood and also Haley and michaels h-a-l-e-y mm -hmm. that's right a-n-d yes <laughs> Michaels, you figure that out. Um, guys, thank you so much for thank being on the show. We're, we're here every Thursday. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm on this couch in some way, shape, or form, but you guys are an absolute delight to have on today. And thank you, everybody, for tuning in at home. I hope you got something real good about it. And uh, take care of yourselves this weekend. All right?
Thank and you. hugs and kisses until we get to be on the road and hopefully doing a show together sometime real soon, maybe in Germany, if we're we'll, lucky. I would love best. it. Thank you so best. much again for having us. Absolutely, guys. Hugs and kisses. We'll see you later on.